just getting started building the uh, seven cylinder inline Briggs here. So I got my firing diagram here. Firing order is going to be 1635274. So we've got, uh, first thing I did was retighten the flywheel nut on cylinder number one. Turns out it had a sheer fl sheared flywheel key in it from its last run on the five cylinder. So I got that all straightened out now and I got my top dead center mark there on the flywheel and the piston is indeed at top dead center. So then I can uh, hook up cylinder number two using my uh, couplings there. And uh, the way I do that is with this double width chain hooks up to the coupling on the front of the next engine. But the first thing I have to do is uh, remove those couplings and make new ones that are uh, phased correctly for seven cylinders instead of five. Uh, the angle on them is different. Uh, the cylinder will fire every 102.8 degrees on the seven cylinder. So of course that was different on the five cylinder. So lots of fun here. Just getting started. So this shows the various pistons at the different phases here. I'll crank it over with the starter. So here I've uh, done the spark timing test on it. I uh, got the intake manifolds all in place here. Got my uh, exhaust caps on. Keep rain out of the exhaust if it leaks through the tarp. Got my uh, coupling guards on. All but the one on the chain drive distributor there. Uh, coils mounted there. So, other than the carburetors, it's uh, pretty much uh, ready to roll at this point. Have to tighten all the cylinder head bolts down. Makes it easier to spin it over when you don't have as much compression. But, uh, it's moving right along. <laughs> 